got mail. A chainsaw to go on your angle grinder. How dangerous does that look? Can't wait to try this out actually. See if I can kill myself. No, no, I mean, see if I can stay alive. My brother asked me to store this timber for him because he didn't have a place to keep it. It's nice wood. I've used a couple of pieces for myself. Uh, and I'm slowly giving the rest of it back to him in little bits as Christmas presents. It's kind of a thing we do now. Or I do anyway. I hope he appreciates it. So, there's a couple of two shorter bits in under there. I'm gonna get them out to make this year's Christmas present. That's shorter by only about five centimeters. Weighs 23.7 kilos. The one that's longer by just a couple of centimeters. 32.5. So this longer one is considerably more dense for the same dimensions, which is quite interesting, isn't it not? But I'm gonna use the lighter one. This crack down the middle runs front to back, so it's actually almost coming apart, but I'm gonna be gluing it back together anyway, so the crack doesn't matter.
Well, that's progress from the previous day. So let's see if we can make another pile. This wood is hard as hell. And the chainsaw is not coping real well. But it works better in crosscut than it does in ripping. So I'm going to turn it around and do cross cutting only. But this is tougher than I thought it was going to be. I do have one secret weapon too that I'm a bit nervous to bring out, but I might have to. Should have tried this earlier but I was actually scared of this machine because I had tested it one time before and I thought it was going to dig in and get away but going on that little run and if it does dig in a little bit it, um, the electricity of the machine gets overpowered and it slows down so it's not really an issue, but I was holding on pretty tight. It's excellent. Great progress. You won't ever see that, but those, yeah, those drill holes are probably the bottom. Pretty close to the bottom, I reckon. Look at that shaping. Nice. I think it's about time I did some measuring to see how deep I've gone and how deep I need to go and measure the thickness of my walls etc because I would be sickened if I actually went through the wall And it's 200 mil total, so I've got about 60 mils to go, which is good because some of those drill holes go a little bit deeper, so I need to at least get that down that far. today my back stuffed but I'm happy with that oh actually I was going to put epoxy into that crack the bit, the worst one at least Okay, so it's time to get back into this. It's too heavy. So there's plenty of meat in the bottom. I need to figure out a way of measuring how deep it actually is currently as well. 
so I don't go too far. Uh, so I just gotta keep going. This thing is brilliant. I was scared of it at first, but now I love it. The other thing too is my on off switch doesn't work anymore. So I've got to turn it off at the power at the wall. And don't forget to be holding on to it. I just put a new hole in my floor because I wasn't holding on to it and it went flying. See the quality safety glasses I'm working with. So I think I'm coming down to the wire on this. I'm not going to chase I'm not going to chase the dimensions on the sides because I could go crazy chasing things. So I'm just gonna sand it and perfect it as much as I can. Um, I'm going to get the inside as nice as I can without worrying too much about it. But try and do the outsides as square and perfect as I can because I can access them. The 80 grit seems to be burning the wood more than the 40 did, so. I'm gonna go to Bunnings and get another 40 and maybe a new face mask. So I've been to Bunnings. I had some Christmas gift vouchers to spend, so I bought two new tools, a planer and a sander. Got some pads for the sander. Got some new pads for the angle grinder. Try to get a new mask and they're all sold out. So I have to put up with my scungy one for a while. I like that flat pad now because because of its flatness I can actually use it to get a flatter finish instead of yeah, whatever. Actually getting a flatter finish on the wood. Also I was right to go to Bunnings to get a 40 instead of the 80 because the 40 is taking the wood out without burning whereas the 80 was burning on the edges so it's working well Thank you.